Girls, where are you? You trying to stay cool? <laughs> wow, you just burst out. Are you trying to stay cool? Yes, yes, I understand. But you got some shade back there, which is nice. That's good news. Yes, it is. So, we had a couple of questions about what we referred to as our hoop coop. So, we'll talk about how we constructed these, which, you know, what? Wow, you girls are walking away. I'm just going to tell how we just built this magnificent hoop coop, and you're like, you have no food, we're out. Okay, well, anyway, I'll go on with my story. So, we started with, of course, what we refer to as hoop number one, okay? But this was not actually a coop. We started with this as the straw bale garden, okay? So we had bales down the side here, across the back and over. And I will leave a link up above uh, to that video about the straw bale garden. But anyway, so that's where we started. We started with this one. And what it is is, let's go around this way. Actually, it's easier to show you on the girl's side. So we'll look at the girl's side, but this is the first one that we put up. So let's go over here. Okay, so as you can see, we have tea stakes, okay? So each of these is a cattle panel. So each of these, so we, we go along here, and this is all the way down to, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, I passed it. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Right here, okay? So this is where they're joined together, right here. So we have tea stake, tea stake, cattle panel, and then, of course, so there's one there. We're going along. Here's another junction here. That's two. And another junction here. So that's three. So we are four panels. We are four panels long. Each of the panels are four feet. So we're a 16 foot long coop. And then basically we just arch them over. Um, like I said, we started with hoop number one, which is down there. We'll walk down that way now. Hey, who is this? I, I'm not with the list, so I don't know. Double orange, or is that orange pink? That's orange pink. Yeah, they're kind of faded. We're going to have to get some new uh, tags on you girls. What? What did you say? Yeah, I'm kind of showing them around and telling them about how we built the, the coops and stuff. Right. Yeah, I will also tell them about how you guys just start off with one. You're right, expansion girl. I love it. Okay, I'll tell them. Anyway, what she was talking about was... We started with hoop number one, okay? And so here we are now. This is hoop number one. It was basically straw bale garden all along here, bales, bales, bales. I grew some incredible watermelon in here and uh, sugar babies, and so it was great. But now I put the tarp up, so now the girls are down here, the girls and the guys. Hey! What? Yeah, I'm just talking about stuff. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, I understand, because you weren't even hatched yet yeah this is like way before you guys yeah talking about how the coops were built exactly uh-huh okay I'm gonna get back to my story okay so anyway so we said they were four four panels and then you just basically arch them over and tea stakes so that was the first one ending here okay which like I said, a straw bale garden, we had some pretty good success. Well, obviously we had excellent success, okay? Then we came to hoop number two. Now hoop number two originally was just closed off. Now you see that I can walk between the two right here. I'll go in and show you that. But it was just a solid uh, hoop when we first put it up, obviously. And the girls were just in that area. But as they got older, we thought, oh, hey, Mega Mine. Oh, sorry, my shadow's on you. What's up, buddy? What are you doing? Where are you going? Huh? What? It's hot. Yes, it is. Go get in the shade. Go get some, go get in the shade, get some water. Okay, I don't I, I gotta continue the story. Okay, excuse me. All right. Okay, so anyway, let's go in. Let's go in and take a look. Ah. Morning, ladies. Hey, are you guys staying cool back there? That actually looks like it's, you know, a pretty nice area. Yeah. I think you are doing quite well. Let me get the door closed here. Yeah. So anyway, okay. So this was just the first coop. We didn't have the, the roost or anything, basically, because they were younger. They weren't really roosting. We first got them in here when they were chicks, okay? So we had the straw barrel garden over there. Then we had uh, the chicks in here, okay? 
And then that was the end of this coop. That was, it went all the way down to the ground. That was the end, okay? Then we have coop three. And well, it was a hoop then, not a coop. And what we did was, it was just a, another straw bill garden. Another straw bill garden. So the girls just had this center section. And after we realized that they were bigger and needed more space and so on and so forth, then we started, you know, we added the roost. As you can see, those are just kind of like ladders kind of that we built from uh, some lumber we had here. And um, then after this time went on, we thought, oh yeah, they do need more space. So what we did was between the two hoops, since they were already connected, here's the, uh, the tea stake here. Uh, yeah, the horrible list that I got to replace tea stake there. Okay, so we decided in between the two tea stakes just to go ahead and open it up. So hubby came in here, snip, 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 opened this up, bent it back. We've and I didn't mention everything as you can see is covered in aviary net. We just netting. We just made the aviary netting go over, connected the two, and now the girls have what we used, what we refer to as the sunroom. Okay, so now they have more space. So they have not only this area over here, this area over here. They have their little swing, which they don't swing on too often anymore. But we put a, a roost up in here. So when it's cooler in the evenings or, or sometime during the day, depending on the season, they can roost out in the sun area. And they love shredding the last of the straw bales from the straw bale garden. So you can see they have, there was bales all along here. They have taken all of that out bales all the way along wasn't here of course this was the opening where you came in so so basically that's how uh, these were constructed I didn't go through the front part because it was just another cattle panel hubby cut this cattle panel here when we decided that we wanted to make this a coop and he enclosed it and then of course everything covered in aviary netting so there you go that's how we came together that's how all this came together to be these uh coops that we have right now right ladies and you guys love them right i know thank you yes yes so it's oh somebody they're chasing a bug over there like whoa a bug okay they, they didn't get it it was flying there was no way they were catching that but anyway so that's the story of how we built our coops oh now the bugs in here now the girls in here think they can get it okay it's up there somewhere okay anyway that was interesting girls wow girls girls really really okay because that looks terribly uncomfortable but you know if it's working for you okay it's time for another garden hack okay this is what the garden hack is First of all, as you know, I'm doing a lot of irrigation, a lot of poly lines, a lot of fittings. So this is what I came up with. Over here, I have a binder clip, and you know me, my binder clips from dollar store. Okay, I think 10 for a dollar, 20 for a dollar, I don't know. Anyway, clip a binder clip on the side of your bucket to hold your poly line. It makes it so easy, especially if the line's at the bottom of the bucket and your connection here, your uh, binder clip here, you just pull out how much ever you need, cut, or voila okay I love it okay so that's garden hack number one garden hack number two is this a water bottle when I was working with the uh, irrigation back there I kept having to dig in the bottom of this bucket for the fittings because I just dumped them out in the bottom well I came up with this idea a simple water bottle just put your fittings uh, that you need inside the water bottle these are my little uh, piercing the hose piercing connections put them in here dispense out of the top super easy and you need to be drinking a lot of water anyway because right now America is going through a tremendous heat wave yesterday was 110 degrees in Washington DC I cannot imagine with the amount of humidity they have so definitely drink plenty of water then empty that bottle and put in your irrigation fittings. that's my garden hack for the day Thanks for taking that trip with us down memory lane. It's incredible to see how far we've come in this year on the homestead. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so and share the video with friends. And until next time, be happy, be well, and be blessed. Bye-bye.